Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 Honda 4 Tracks Foreman Rubicon DCT 520 4x4 in what Honda likes to call Olive. And to make things easier when we talk about it, we're going to drop off the 4 Tracks Foreman and DCT part of the name and just call it a Rubicon for this video and we might shave off a couple minutes at the end of the video. Now this Rubicon isn't 100% stock. It does have a few goodies that were thrown on it. First up is the most noticeable thing, and that's the new wheel and tire combo. The stock 25-inch Maxxis MU tires were ditched in place for these 27-inch 6-ply ITP Mud Light 2 tires. They are wrapped around a set of 12-inch ITP wheels that were swapped in for the factory 12-inch steel wheels. The last modification is probably one of the most important, though, and that's the winch. This Rubicon has Honda's 2,500 pound winch that's made by Warren. And a friendly tip, don't forget that if you're installing one of these and order the Honda winch mount kit to go with it, that you will need the separate sub harness too. So what do you guys think about this wheel and tire combo on the Rubicon? Would you rather have this smaller 27 inch setup or the 29 and a half inch tall mud tire setup with a lift kit that we did a video on a few days ago? I want to take a quick second and say thank you to Southern Honda Power Sports for opening their doors to me and allowing me to come pick through their inventory for these videos. They are a massive Honda Power Sports dealer here in Chattanooga, Tennessee with tons of inventory from new Hondas to used Harleys and everything in between that they sell to people from all over the USA. So check out the link in the description below and head over to their website to see if they can save you some money on your next toy. This Rubicon is one of four different Rubicon models available for 2021 from Honda. It's called the Rubicon DCT and its model ID is TRX520FA5. TRX is generic for ATV and then the 520 is its engine size. The F means four wheel drive, the A means automatic, and the five means that it does have independent rear suspension and does not have power steering. And once you learn what each letter and number means, you can quickly tell what features a model has just by those letters and numbers. If you want an automatic Rubicon in 2021, this is one of three different options that you have. Here's a quick rundown of the four different 2021 Rubicon model options though. Number one is the Rubicon EPS model ID TRX 520FM6. This is the Rubicon with a foot shift manual transmission and power steering at $87.99. And next up for number two is the Rubicon DCT, model ID TRX520FA5. This is the Rubicon DCT automatic without power steering at $86.99. And this is the model that we're looking at today. For number three, it's the Rubicon DCT EPS. Model ID TRX 520FA6. This is the Rubicon DCT automatic with power steering at $93.99. And in short, take the model we're looking at today and add power steering. Then for number four, you have the Rubicon Deluxe DCT EPS TRX 520FA7. This is the Rubicon DCT automatic with power steering and it will have aluminum wheels and painted plastics and suspension components or the Phantom Camo finish for $98.99. In short, take the prior model and add different wheels and paint in the mix for the deluxe model. And just as a reminder, because we're throwing these letters around a lot, DCT equals automatic transmission, EPS equals electric power steering, and ESP means electric shift program. And what's power in the Rubicon for 2021? The new larger engine that was introduced in 2020 is a 518 cc liquid cooled single cylinder engine that's mounted longitudinally in the double cradle steel frame. Now it hasn't broke the 30 horsepower mark just yet, but we won't go there now as that's always a long conversation. So let's have that conversation down in the comment section below in regards to Honda and horsepower. 
maintenance intervals are every 600 miles or 100 hours after your first service at 100 miles or 20 hours. You've got fully serviceable wheel bearings, ball joints, and pivot bushings. The suspension is adjustable on all four corners to dial in the spring preload. This unit has Honda's DCT automatic transmission. DCT is short for dual clutch transmission. Now we won't get too technical as I don't want to bore anyone with nitty gritty info, but the DCT transmission in short is a technological masterpiece. Throw away the old school Honda-matic transmissions from back in the day, ditch your torque converted automatics, and this is what we've came to. Honda brought the DCT technology to their power sports lineup in 2010 with the VFR 1200F, then in 2014 for their ATVs, and followed up by their side-by-side -side models in 2016. And it went through more generational changes last year to make it smarter and more adaptive than ever before. Now I'm not trying to sell you on it, but seriously, if you have yet to, you need to try one of Honda's DCT transmissions, especially one of the later generations. Now how do you operate the transmission and controls on the DCT Rubicon? First up, on the left side of the handlebars, you'll see a diagram showing you everything you need to know and what you'll see on the display based off of where you've put the selector and whether it's on automatic or ESP. What does ESP mean? Electric shift program. Think of it as a manual mode, and then of course, auto means automatic. So if you put it on ESP, you are now in manual mode and need to click the up and down arrows to shift through the transmission, and you can see what gear you're in thanks to the gear position indicator on the gauges that will show you one through five. Now, if you put it in automatic mode via the switch on the right side of the handlebars, you'll see a big D pop up on the gauges, and that means you're in drive. It's fully automatic now. Getting it into neutral is easy. You just click the down arrow when you're stopped, and the new reverse lever that was released last year makes life easy on you. Just pull the red trigger on the left side of the bars, and click the down arrow button, and you're in reverse. Then to take it out of reverse, you just click the up arrow, and you're back into neutral. And you can change from auto to ESP on the fly, and you can also change gears while you're in auto mode. That way, if you're in auto mode and need to quickly downshift, just hit the down arrow. That's one of the many upgrades Honda has done just in the last couple of years with their DCT models. Now, when it comes to the four-wheel drive system on the Rubicon, Honda's Trax Lock four-wheel drive system allows both two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive riding with the flip of an electronic switch the red button on the right side of the handlebar. You also have four-wheel drive with a locking front differential that is engaged electronically too by flipping the black switch over the red 4x4 button you pressed earlier. Now when you engage the diff lock, you are speed limited to 20 miles an hour. However, you have a speed override mode that allows faster wheel speed when the front diff is locked. When you press the speed override button on the left side of the handlebar when the diff lock is engaged, it'll allow you to go from 20 miles an hour up to 40 miles an hour. Now, a lot of times people don't mention seats, but if you're cross shopping a Foreman and a Rubicon or a Rancher and a Rencon, make sure to throw a leg over all of them and enjoy the different material and overall size difference of the Rubicon seat compared to the rest of them. Now you've got an LCD display up front, which is pretty bare, but it does give you everything you need to know with up to 13 functions. You have the usual speedometer, hour meter, odometer, fuel gauge, and you have Honda's maintenance miner to help you keep track of when each service is due. Next up, let's hit a few numbers. Now, some of these won't apply to this Rubicon, like its ground clearance, which has changed because it has taller tires on it. But the Rubicon has 7.3 inches of suspension travel up front and 8.5 inches in the rear, which is up from 7.3 inches when compared to the Foreman with a straight axle. The Rubicon has dual hydraulic calipers with 190 millimeter discs up front for braking, with a single 170 millimeter disc in the rear, whereas the Foreman has a single 160 millimeter mechanical drum breakout back. All of Honda's Rubicon models feature the same ProConnect setup on the racks, where you can mount all kinds of different cargo systems to them. 
The Rubicon has a 99 pound rating for the front rack and 187 pounds for the rear compared to the Foreman at 88 pounds and 176 pounds. Your tow rating for the Rubicon model lineup comes in at 1,322 pounds, whereas the Foremans are pegged out at 848 pounds. Next up, let's start it up so you can hear what it sounds like in stock form. And that's the 2021 Honda 4Trax Foreman Rubicon 520 DCT. What do you guys think about it? Are you fans of the DCT transmission or do you prefer the foot shift models? And last one, what do you guys think Honda should change on the next generation Rubicon? Thanks as always for watching guys. I really appreciate the continued support and we'll see you in the next one.